It's been around 30 days since my helium miner went live and started producing helium. And so I made an update video after seven days and this is the 30 day version. So it's really gonna be a comparison versus that first video and talk about how the results are slightly different, kind of some of the issues that I have run into and then also some exciting news and possible changes to my setup going forward. Getting right into the results after 30 days of mining helium, the total earnings came out to 4.18 with my Bobcat miner. In the original video, I had projected what my 30 day earnings would be and it came out to 3.6. So actually the average daily amount was higher than expected based on those first seven days. So pretty happy with the results. I mean, obviously if it could be one helium per day, that'd be amazing. But with my current setup, it actually did improve a little bit over time. Another important takeaway is if you look at the daily fluctuations, you will probably drive yourself insane because you'll see on my 30 day graph, one day, you know, 0.07 helium was produced, whereas here 0.28. The difference could be complete randomness right? One day you may get way more witnesses, more beacons, and you're just having an amazing day. So if you're staring at your helium miner, you know, shaking your fist saying, why is one day higher? Could just be chance. The other factor we'll talk in a little bit about the over the air updates that will happen for Bobcat, which the firmware is basically getting changed and updated. And therefore the miner is down and it's not mining helium. So for the past 30 days, I didn't update every single day with beaconing, witnessing all of these numbers down down here for the seven day period, but I did update the current price of helium as well as the average daily amount to come up with a new monthly projected profit as well as a yearly ROI. When I plug in all those numbers, I get 161%. For comparison, in the first video, I said 187%. And the major difference between those two numbers is coming from the fact that helium pricing went from 24 in my first video down to around this $19.50. So those crazy swings in price for helium is compared completely normal because in the cryptocurrency world, going from 24 to 20 in a week is normal and doing that in a couple hours is also normal. So expect the price of helium to fluctuate and you can't lock in that $24 figure as well as you can't lock in that $20 figure. I mean, it could go lower as well. So the profitability of the miner over the longer period of time will fluctuate based on that price. Whereas the production in helium, I think will probably be less volatile. The only thing that may impact that is your setup, which you can change a little bit, but then also the number of hotspots that are coming online. If we look at something like Helium Explorer to see how many new hotspots are coming online, it's around 45,000 over the past 30 days. And this trend won't go away. The cat is out of the bag. People are buying helium miners. There's even issues of helium miners not being able to be created fast enough. So the demand is there. People are trying to get their hands on these miners, but the market is just sucking in all the supply of miners. And if that wasn't actually an issue, this number would probably be higher. But with an increase in hotspots, that really means that the earnings over time get spread out more across the hotspots. So that's something also to remember that as time goes on, and people buy more and more hotspots, the earnings outside of the halvings will also probably slowly decrease because of this. Another issue I talked about when it comes to earnings is the over the air updates with Bobcat. Now it's good and bad because the good is Bobcat realizes there's something wrong with the miner. They're updating it, making it better for the future. But at the same time, when they do these firmware updates, it stops the mining and you lose some earnings. Realistically, from the time that I made that first video, we're talking about nine separate updates that can take a couple hours. And if you're looking at your Bobcat miner and the light goes from green to red, and you're just like, what is going on? Why is it turning red? It may be a firmware update. So Bobcat will send out these emails saying, hey, we're updating the software on this date, but they don't give a specific time that it'll happen. You'll just see your miner turn red and just assume that in a couple hours, It'll probably turn green. You can check the diagnostic tool to see what's going on with your miner if you're freaking out, but usually it's some type of update and will fix itself in a couple hours. The total amount that I've actualized so far is only $56.49. And so the plan is at the end of the month, every month, I'll take whatever helium is in my helium app and then convert it to US dollars. And I do this using crypto.com, the app, 
It's one of the exchanges that offers helium trading. So I just send my helium to that wallet, convert it to US dollars, and then take it out of there and deposit to my bank. That's kind of how I convert it. I'll make a more detailed video on how to do that step by step later on, but that's essentially how I convert my helium to US dollars. Now on to the exciting news of a possible setup change. I finally got my 3DBI antenna. It came from, I believe, China, and it took a couple weeks to actually come and get delivered, but this would allow me to possibly earn more helium based on my current setup of being in the city and also being in an apartment building surrounded by brick. I wanna get this thing outside, whereas right now it's currently inside. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting for is the actual grip to hold it outside, unfortunately. I don't wanna stick this out there without knowing that it's secured. So once I have have that, I will probably make an update video after setting up the new antenna and seeing kind of how the earnings have changed, possibly getting worse. I don't know. You know, it's not a guarantee that will get better. The hope is that it gets better. But what I'll do is I'll do a comparison of, okay, this is how much I was earning with the previous setup. Here's how much I'm earning with the new setup. Hopefully the new setup is more healing. There you have it. There's my update on the helium mining. Overall, still relatively easy. The setup, easy and then you just have to make sure that the helium miner is running and the light is green. Uh, that's been my experience. I haven't had any nightmare situations. I think the hardest thing at this point is just getting your hands on a miner because there's so many orders going in at this point that the backlog to get a miner from even Bobcat is probably six months. So that's something to factor in when you're buying it. I mean, you can buy it off eBay or something for like $3,000, but people are basically gulping and gouging people, which kind of sucks, but uh, that's kind of the situation when the demand for these miners is outstripping the supply. So hopefully that takes care of itself and people can get their miners. But yeah, that's unfortunately the current situation. And I happen to be one of the lucky ones that ordered it before there was a huge surge in demand. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, it helps the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing. We talk investing, cryptocurrency, anything to do with money. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.